Here at home today marks one year since the deadly attack on the Boston Marathon. The anniversary serves as a chance to look back for those who were most closely affected by those bombing blasts. It's also an opportunity to continue looking forward. It was the home stretch of one of the world's most prestigious marathons, the finish line in sight, Boylston Street, Boston, a year ago today. In the aftermath, three dead, more than 260 wounded, one of them, Heather Abbott. I put in a lot of hard work, hard work um, in physical therapy and um, just on my own practicing walking to try to resume my life and have it be as normal as possible. The fast moving investigation identified two suspects. One of them was dead after a shootout with police, the other now in custody awaiting trial. First though, today's memorial service to mark the anniversary. I think the memorial is going to be difficult for everybody, but I think that by seeing those tributes uh, that Ms. Abbott and other folks have, 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 have showed us their strength uh, will we'll move us all forward. Boston's mayor, as well as Vice President Biden, along with emergency responders and survivors, will all be there. After the service, a procession to the marathon finish line for a moment of silence at 2.49 p.m. Eastern Time, the moment the bombs exploded last year. That finish line was laid down yesterday, workers saying it was an honor. Such a great event and tribute to the people that uh, were injured and people that passed. This year's race is set for next Monday, a larger than usual field. Some 36,000 runners will tackle Boston's challenging course. Among them are the 5,600 or so who were halted on the course last year. Organizers expect about a million people to line the route. That's twice as many as usual. A very loud public way of demonstrating that simple phrase that took hold in the wake of last year's tragedy, Boston Strong. Now tune into ABC later today for live coverage of the anniversary, including the moment of silence. Our coverage begins on air and online at 2.35 Eastern Time, 11.35 Pacific.